Nothing to be done. Nothing to be done. I think so we do. Nothing to be done. I am beginning to come around to that opinion. All my life I've tried to put it from me saying, Vlad, be reasonable, you haven't tried everything. And then I resumed the struggle. So there you are again. Am I? <laughs> I am glad to see you back. I thought you were gone forever. Me too. Together again at last. We'll have to celebrate this. <gasps> but how? Get up till I embrace you. Ah. Not now. Not now. May one inquire where his highness spent the night? In the ditch. A ditch where? Over there. And they didn't beat you? Beat me. Certainly they beat me. The same lot as usual? The same. I don't know. You know when I think of it, all these years, but for me, where would you be? 
You'd be nothing more than a little heap of bones at the present minute. And what of it? About it. It's too much for one man. And on the other hand, what's the good of losing one's heart? That's what I say. I mean, we should have thought of it many oh, years ago. Stop blathering and help me off with this bloody in thing. Hand from the top of the Eiffel Tower. Oh, we were respectable in those days. And now they wouldn't even let us up. What are you doing? Taking off my boot. Did that never happen to you? Boots must be taken off every day. I am tired of telling you that. Why don't you ever listen Help to me? Help me. It hurts. Hurt? He wants to know if it hurts? Oh, no one ever suffers but you. I do not count. I would like to hear what you would say if you had what I have. It hurts? Hurts? He wants to know if it hurts. You might button it all the same. Well, true. <laughs> Never neglect the little things of life. Well, what do you expect? You always wait until the last moment. Last moment. Hope deferred maketh the something sick. Who said that? Why don't you help me? You know, sometimes I feel it coming all the same. And then I go all queer. I mean, how shall I say? Um, relieved and at the same time, appalled. <laughs> Appalled. Funny. Nothing to be done. Well? Nothing. Show. There's nothing to show. Try and put it on again. Uh, I'll air it for a bit. There's a man for you blaming on his boots the fault of his feet. This is getting alarming. One of the thieves was saved. It's a reasonable percentage. Go, go. What? Suppose we repented. Repented what? Uh, one daren't even go into the detail. Oh, being born. <laughs> one daren't even laugh anymore. Merely smile. Dreadful privation. It's not the same. Uh, nothing to be done. Uh, go, go. What is it? Did you ever read the Bible? The Bible? Yeah. I must have taken a look at it. Uh, do, do you remember the Gospels? I remember the maps of the Holy Land. Colored they were, very pretty. <laughs> the Dead Sea was pale blue. The very look of it made me thirsty. That's where we'll go, I used to say. That's where we'll go for our honeymoon. We'll, we'll swim. We'll be happy. You should have been a poet. I, I, I was. Is that not obvious? Where was I? Ah, how's your foot? It's swelling visibly. Ah, yes, two thieves. Do you remember the story? No. Shall I tell it to you? No. In a past time. No. Two thieves crucified at the same time as our savior. Our what? Our savior, two thieves. One is supposed to have been saved. Saved from what? Hell, and the other damned. And I mean, I'm going. How is it that of the four evangelists, only one speaks uh, of a thief being saved? I mean, the four of them were there or thereabout, and only one speaks of a thief being saved. Uh, Come on, but we'll return the ball once in a way, can't you? I find this real. Really most extraordinarily interesting. Yeah, one out of four. And of the three, two don't mention any thieves at all. And the third one says that both of them abused him. Who? What? What is this about abused who? The savior. Why? Because he wouldn't save them. From hell. Imbecile, from death. I thought you said hell. From death. From death. Well, what of it? Then, the two of them must have been damned. Why not? But one of the four says that one of the two was saved. 
Well, they don't agree and that's all there is to it. But the four of them were there and only one speaks of a thief being saved. Why believe him rather than the others? Who believes him? Everybody. It's the only version they know. Uh, well, people are bloody ignorant apes. Charming spot. Inspiring prospects. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting. For Godot. Ah. Uh. You're sure it was here? What? That we were to wait. He said, by the tree. Do you see any others? What is it? I don't know. Uh, willow? Where are the leaves? It must be dead. No more weeping. Perhaps it's not the season. Looks to me more like a bush. A shrub. A bush. A sh What are you insinuating? That we have come to the wrong place? Uh, he should be here. He, he didn't say for sure he'd come. And if he doesn't come? We'll come back tomorrow. And the day after tomorrow? Possibly. And so on? The point is... Until he comes? You're merciless. We came here yesterday. Ah. No, there you're mistaken. Well, what did we do yesterday? What did we do yesterday? Yes. Nothing is certain when you're about. In my opinion, we were here. Do you recognize the place? I didn't say that. Well? It makes no difference. All the same. That tree, that bog, And you're sure it was this evening? What? That we were to wait. He said on Saturday, I think. You think? Yeah, I must have made a note of it. But, but what Saturday? And is it Saturday? Is it not rather Sunday? Or, or, or Monday? Or, 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 or Friday? Uh, it's not possible. Or, or Thursday? What will we do? If he came here yesterday and we weren't here, you might be sure that he won't come Again today. But you say that we were here yesterday. Ah, I may be mistaken. Well, let's stop talking for a bit. Do you mind? All right. Gogo. 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 
I was asleep. Why will you never let me sleep? I felt lonely. I had a dream. Don't tell me. I dreamt that. Don't tell me. This one is enough for you, Didi. It's not nice of you. Who am I to tell my private nightmares to if I can't tell them to you? Let them remain private. You know I can't handle that. There are times when I wonder if it wouldn't be better for us to part. Oh, you wouldn't go far. That would really be too bad. Wouldn't it, Didi, be really too bad? When you think of the beauty of the way and the goodness of the way for us, that would be too bad, wouldn't it, Didi? Calm yourself. Calm! Calm! The English say calm. Do you know the story of the Englishman and the brothel? Yes. Tell it to me. <sighs> Stop it. An Englishman, having drunk a little more than usual, proceeds to a brothel. The board asks him if he wants a fair one, a dark one, or a red-haired one. Go on. Stop it! You wanted to speak to me. You had something to say to I me. I have nothing to say to you. You're angry. Forgive me. Come, Didi. Come, give me your hand. Embrace me. Don't be stubborn. You stink of garlic. It's for the kidneys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, what do we do now? Wait. Yes, but while waiting. Why don't we hang ourselves? Uh, <laughs> it'll give us an erection. <laughs> Yeah. An erection? Yeah, with all that follows where it falls, <laughs> mandrakes grow, that's why they shriek when you pull them up, didn't you know that? <laughs> let's, let's hang ourselves immediately. From the bow, I wouldn't trust we it. We can always try. Okay, go, go ahead. Uh, uh, you first. No, no, uh, you first. After you. No, no, after you. Why me? You are lighter than I am. Just so. <laughs> Use your intelligence, can't you? Yeah, I, I, I remain in the dark. This is how it is. Yeah. The bow. Yeah. The bow. Yeah. Use your head, can't you? <sighs> You're my only hope. <sighs> go, go, light. Yeah. Bow, not break. Yeah. Go, go, dead. Dee, uh. dee, heavy. Bow, break. Didi alone, whereas... Ah, I hadn't thought of that. If it hangs you, it will hang anything. But am I heavier than you? So you tell me. There's an even chance. Or nearly. <laughs> well, what do we do? Don't let's do anything. Uh, it's safer. Let's wait 
till we hear what he has to say. Who? Godo. Good idea. Yeah, let's wait till we know exactly how we stand. On the other hand, it, it might be it might be better if we strike the iron before it freezes. I'm curious to hear what he has to offer, then we'll take it or leave it. Well, what exactly did we ask him for? Were you not there? I can't have been listening. Oh, nothing very definite. Oh. A kind of prayer. Precisely. A vague supplication. Exactly. And what did he reply? That he'd see. Ah, oh, that he couldn't promise yeah, anything. Yeah, that he'd have to think it over. In the quiet of his home. Consult his family. His friends. His agents. His correspondence. His books. His bank account. Before taking a decision. It's the normal thing. Is it not? I think it is. I think so too. And we? I beg your pardon? I said, and we? <laughs> I don't understand. Where do we come in? <laughs> come in? Take your time. <laughs> come in? Ah, uh, on our hands and knees. As bad as that. Your worship wishes to assert his prerogatives? We've no rights anymore. He would make me laugh if it wasn't prohibited. We've lost our rights. No, we got rid of them. We're not tied. We're, we're, we're not... Listen. I hear... <laughs> I hear nothing. <sighs> no, I. You gave me a fright. I thought it was he. Who? Godo. Ah, the wind in the reeds. Yeah, I could have sworn I heard shouts. Why would he shout? At his horse. I'm hungry. Would you like some carrot? Is that all there is? Well, I might have some turnips. Give me a carrot. could have sworn it was a carrot. Oh! It's a turnip! Oh. You uh, must have eaten the last one. Uh, wait. <laughs> there, dear friend, make the most of it. 
That's the end of them. I asked you a question. Ah. Did you reply? How's your carrot? What's the carrot? So much the better. So much the better. What is it you wanted to know? I've forgotten. Uh. That's an annoying thing. I'll never forget this carrot. <laughs> ah, now I remember. Well? We're not tied. I don't hear a word you're saying. We're not tied. Tied? Tied. Tied. Down. But to whom? By whom? To your man. To Godo? Tied to Godo? What an idea! Well, for the moment. His name is Godo? I think so. Fancy that. Funny, the longer you eat this, the worse it gets. Oh, with me, it's just the opposite. In other words? I get used to the mark as I go along. Is that the opposite? Oh, it's a question of temperament. Of character. Nothing you can do about it. No use struggling? One is what one is. No use wriggling? The essential doesn't change. Nothing to be done. Uh. Like to finish it? with strangers. Is... Is that him? Who? Uh... Uh... uh Godon? Yes. Uh, I present myself. Pozzo! Godon! Not at all. He said Godon! Not at all. Are you not Mr. Godon, sir? I am Pozzo. Pozzo. Bozo. Pozzo. Does that name mean nothing to you? Pozzo. 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 I say, Pozzo. does Pozzo. that name Pozzo. mean Pozzo. nothing to Pozzo. you? Pozzo. 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 I see. Bozo! Wait, is it Bozo or Porto? Bozo! Porto! Bozo! Bozo! Porto! Bozo! Porto! Bozo! Porto! Porto! Bozo! Porto! 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 Please, sir, I. I once knew a family called Gozo! And the mother had the clap. We're not from these parts, sir. You are human beings nonetheless. <laughs> as far as one can see, <laughs> of the same species as myself. <laughs> 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 Same species as Pozzo, <laughs> made in God's image. Well, you see, who we... is Godo? Godo. You took me for Godo. Uh, well, not for an instant, sir. Not. not who for... is he? 
Well, he's a kind of an acquaintance. Uh, not nothing of the kind, sir. We hardly even know him. True, we do not know him, but all the same. Personally, I would not know him even if I saw him. You took me for him. Uh, that, that is to say, you, you understand uh, the, the, the dusk, the, the, the strain, the waiting. Uh, waiting? Um, uh, so you were waiting I for him? Well, you I, see, I, I, here. Um, on oh, my land. Oh, well, we <laughs> didn't intend any harm. We meant well. <laughs> The road is free to all. That's how we looked at it. It's a disgrace. But there you are. Nothing we can do about it. Well, let's say no more about it. Up, pig. Every time he drops, he falls asleep. Up, hog. <laughs> Turn. <coughs> Gentlemen, I am happy to have met you. Yes. 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 Sincerely happy. <laughs> Closer. <laughs> Stop. Yes. The road seems long when one journeys all alone for. Yes. Yes. Six hours. That's right. Six hours on end and never a soul in sight. Coat! <coughs> Hold that. Coat! of autumn in the air this evening. <laughs> Whip! Yes, gentlemen, I cannot go for long without the society of my likes. Even when the likeness is an imperfect one. <laughs> Stool! Closer! Back. Further. Stop. That is why, with your permission, I propose to dally with you for a moment before I venture any further. Basket. The fresh air stimulates the jaded appetite. <gasps> Basket. <coughs> Further. He stinks. <laughs> oh, happy days. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> what, what, what ails him? He looks tired. Why doesn't he put down his bags? How do I know? Careful. Ask him something. I see nothing. Yeah. Oh, 
I say? A running soul. It's the rope. It's the rubbing. It's inevitable. It's the knot. It's the chafing. He's not bad looking. Would you say so? A trifle effeminate. Uh, look at the slobber. Look at the slaver. Perhaps he's a half-wit. It's not certain. Ask him a question. Would that be a good thing? Well, what do we risk? Mister? Louder. Mister? Leave him alone. Can't you see he wants to rest? Basket. Basket. What can you expect? It's not his job. <clears throat> oh, that's better. Uh, 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 please, sir. What is it, my good man? Uh, you're not finished with the... Uh, you won't be needing the bones, sir. You could have waited. No, no. He does well to ask. Do I need the bones? No, personally I do not need them anymore. But, but, in theory the bones go to the carrier. He's therefore the one to ask. Go on. Go on, ask him. Don't be afraid. He'll tell you. <clears throat> Excuse me, mister. <clears throat> You're being spoken to, pig. Reply. Try him again. Excuse me, mister. The bones, <laughs> you won't be wanting the bones. <laughs> Reply! Do you want them or don't you? They're yours. I don't like this. I've never known him refuse a bone before. Nice business it'd be if he fell sick on me. Uh, it's a scandal. No. Are you alluding to anything in particular? No, to treat a man like the... No, I think a human being. It's a scandal. A disgrace. <laughs> you are severe. What age are you? If it's not a rude question to ask. 60? 70? What age would you say he was? 11. I am impertinent. I must be going. Thank you for your society. Unless I smoke another pipe before I go. <laughs> what do you say? Oh, I'm only a small smoker, a very small smoker. I'm not in the habit of smoking two pipes, one on top of the other. It makes my heart go pitter pat. It's the nicotine. One absorbs it in spite of one's precautions. You know how it is. Ah, oh, but perhaps you don't smoke, yes? No, it's of no importance. But how am I supposed to sit down now without affectation, now that I've risen, without appearing to, how shall I say, without appearing to falter? I beg your pardon? Oh, perhaps you didn't speak. It's of no importance. Let me see. Oh, that's better. Let's go. So soon. Yeah. One moment. Stool. More. There. <laughs> Done it. Driving you away. 
Wait a little longer, you'll never regret it. Well, no, no hurry. The second is never as sweet. As the first, I mean. But it is sweet just the same. I am going. He can no longer endure my presence. I am perhaps not particularly human, but who cares? Well, think twice before you do anything rash. Suppose you go now, while it is still day. For there's no denying it is still day. Good. What happens in that case? I'm out. In that case. In that case. What happens in that case to your appointment to this Godet, Godot, 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 anyhow you see who I mean? Who has your future in his hands? At least your immediate future. Who told you? He speaks to me again. If this goes on much longer, we'll soon be old friends. <laughs> Why doesn't he put down his bags? I too would be happy to meet him. Well, the more people I meet, the happier I become. From the meanest creature, one departs wiser, richer, doesn't he put more down his conscious bed? of one's blessings. Even you, even you, who knows, will have added to my store. So that would surprise me. You're being asked a question. A question? Yes. Who? Him. What? what? Why doesn't he A moment ago, you were calling me so in fear and trembling. Now, you asking me questions? <laughs> no good will come of this. I think he's listening. What? You can ask him now, he's on the alert. Ask him why? Ask him why he doesn't put down his bags. I wonder. Ask him, can't you? You want to know why he doesn't put down his bags as you call them? That's it. You sure you agree with that? The answer is this. Uh, he's huffing like a grampus. But stay still. I beg of you. You're making me nervous. Yeah. What? He's about to speak. <clears throat> Good. Is everybody ready? Is everybody looking at me? Will you look at me, pig? Good. I am ready. Is everybody listening? Is everybody ready? Ha! I don't like talking in a vacuum. Good. Let me see. I'm going. What was it exactly that you wanted to know? Why he doesn't... Interrupt me. If we all speak at once, we'll never get anywhere. What was I saying? What was I saying? Bags! Why? Always hold, never put down. Why? Uh, why couldn't you say so before? I, 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 why he doesn't put down his bags? Let's try and get this clear. Has he not the right to? Certainly he does. It follows that he doesn't want to. There's reasoning for you. And why doesn't he want to? Gentlemen, the reason is this. Make a note of this. He wants to impress me so that I'll keep him. What? Perhaps I haven't got that quite right. He wants to mollify me so that I'll give up the idea of parting with him. You no, want that's to get not rid of him? Either. He wants to cod me, but he won't. You want to get rid of him? He imagines that when I see how well he carries, I'll be tempted to keep him on in that capacity. You've had enough of him. In reality, he carries like a pig. It's not his job. You want to get rid of him? He imagines that when I see him indefatigable, I'll regret my decision, such as his miserable scheme. As though I were short of slaves. <laughs> oh, Atlas, son of Jupiter. Well, that's what I think. 
Anything else? You want to get rid of him? Remark that I might just as well have been in his shoes and he in mine if chance had not willed otherwise. To which one his due? You want to get rid of him? I beg your pardon. You want to get rid of him? I do. But instead of driving him away as I might have done, I mean, instead of simply kicking him out on his ass, in the goodness of my heart, I'm bringing him to the fair where I hope to get a good price for him. The truth is, you can't drive such creatures away. The best thing would be kill them. <laughs> He's crying. All dogs have more dignity. Shh. Or comfort him since you pity him. Come on. Shh. Come on. Wipe away his tears. You'll feel less forsaken. Here, yeah, give it to me, I'll do it. Make haste before he stops. Shh. 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 Well, if necessary. <laughs> he stopped crying. You have replaced him as it were. All the tears of the world are a constant quantity. For each one who begins to weep, somewhere else another stops. The same is true of the laugh. <laughs> Let us not then speak ill of our generation, for it is not any unhappier than its predecessors. Let us not speak well of it either. Let us not speak of it at all. It's true. The population has increased. Try and look. Guess who taught me all these beautiful things? My lucky. Will night never come? But for him, all my thoughts, all my feelings would have been of common things, professional worries. Beauty, grace, truth of the first water. I knew they were all beyond me. So I took a knook. Will night never come? You don't feel like going until it does? Well, well, you see. Why, it's very natural. Very natural. I myself, in your situation, if I had an appointment with this good day, good do, good do. Anyhow, you see who I mean. I'd wait till it was black night before I gave up. I'd very much like to sit down. But I don't quite know how to go about it. Can I be a help? If you ask me. Huh? What? If you ask me to sit down. Would that be a help? I fancy so. Here we go. Please. 
is PC to say, I beg of you. No, no, I wouldn't think of it. Uh. Ask me again. Come, come, uh, be seated. Uh, I, uh, I beseech you, you, you'll catch pneumonia. You really think so? Why, well, I'm absolutely certain. No doubt you are right. Done it again. Thank you, dear fellow. Gosh. I must really be getting along if I'm to observe my schedule. Time has stopped. Don't you believe it, sir? Don't you believe it? Whatever you like. But not that. Everything seems black to him today. Except the firmament. <laughs> but I see what it is. You're not from these parts. You don't know what our twilights can do. Shall I tell you? Uh. No, I can't refuse you. But be a little more attentive. Oh, what's the matter with this whip? <laughs> Worn out this whip. <laughs> what was I saying? Let's go. Take the weight off your feet. Uh, I implore you, you'll catch a death. True. What is your name? Adam. Ah, oh. oh, yes. The knight. Adam. But be a little more attentive, for pity's sake. Otherwise, we'll never get anywhere. Look. Will you look at the sky, pig? Good, that's enough. What is there so extraordinary about it? Qua sky. It is pale and luminous, like any sky at this hour of the day in these latitudes, when the weather is fine. An hour ago, roughly, after having poured forth ever since, say, 10 o'clock in the morning, tirelessly turrets of red and white light begin to lose its effulgence, to go pale, Pale, ever a little pale, paler until poof. Ah. Finished. It comes to rest. But, but behind this veil of gentleness and peace, the night is charging and will burst upon us. Pop! Like that. Just when you least expect it. Oh. <laughs> well, that's how it is on this bitch of an earth. So long as one knows, one can bide one's time. One knows what to expect. No further need to worry. Simply wait. We're used to it. How did you find me? Good. Fair. Middling. Poor. Positively bad. Very good. Very, 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 very good. And you, sir? Trey Bong. Trey, Trey, Trey Bong. Oh, bless you, gentlemen. Bless you. I am in much need of encouragement. I weakened a little towards the end. Didn't you notice? Or perhaps just a teeny weeny little bit. I thought it was intentional. You see, my memory is defective. In the meantime, nothing happens. You find it tedious. Somewhat. And you, sir? Well, I've been better entertained. Gentlemen, 
you have been civil to me. Not at all. What an idea. Yes, yes, you have been correct. So I ask myself, is there anything I can do in my turn for these honest fellows who are having such a dull, dull time? Even ten francs would be a help. We're not beggars. Is there anything I can do? That's what I ask myself. To cheer them up. I've given them bones. I've spoken to them about this and that. I've explained the twilight admittedly. But is it enough? That's what tortures me. Is it enough? Even five. That's enough. I couldn't accept less. Is it enough? No doubt. But I am liberal. That is my nature. This evening, so much the worse for me. For I shall suffer. No doubt about it. What do you prefer? Shall we have him dance or sing or recite Who? or think? He thinks? Certainly. Aloud. He used to think very prettily once. I could listen to him for hours. Mm. Now, so much the worse for me. Well? Would you like him to think something for us? I'd prefer it if he dances. It would be more fun. <laughs> Not necessarily. Wouldn't it, Didi, be more fun? Well, I'd like to hear him think. Perhaps he, he can dance first and then think afterwards. If that's not too much to ask him, uh, would that be possible? By all means, <laughs> it's the natural order. Nothing simpler. Then uh, let him dance. Do you hear, Hog? He never refuses. He refused once. Dance, misery! <laughs> Is that it? Encore! I could do so well myself, <laughs> with a little practice. He used to dance the farandole, the fling, the jig, the brawl, the fandango, and even the hornpipe. He capered for joy. Now that's the best he can do. Do you know what he calls it? The scapegoat's agony. The hard stool. <laughs> the net. <laughs> he thinks he's entangled in a net. Mm. Um, uh, um, tell him to think. Give him his hat. His hat? He can't think without his hat. Give him his hat. Me? Mm. After what he did to me? Never. I'll, I'll do it. It's better you give it to him. Uh, tell him to fetch it. I'll give it to him. You must put it on his head. Uh, tell him to take it. It's better you put it on his head. I'll put it on his head. Stand back. What are you waiting for? Think, pig! Stop! 
Forward. Stop. Think. On the other hand, with regard to... Stop! Back. Stop. Turn. Think. Given the existence as uttered forth in the public works of Puncher and Watman of a personal God, Qua, 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 with white beard, qua, 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 outside time without extension. Who from the heights of divine apathia, divine athambia, divine aphasia loves us dearly, with some exceptions for reasons unknown, but time will tell and suffers like the divine Miranda. With those who for reasons unknown, but time will tell are plunged in torment, plunged in fire, whose fire flames, if that continues, who can doubt it, will fire the firmament, that is to say, blast hell to heaven. Oh, so blue, still and calm, so calm, with a calm which even though it's emittent is better than nothing, but not so fast. And considering what is more, that as a result of the labors left unfinished, crowned by the uh, 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 Academy of Anthropometry of A.C. and Posse of Testu and Cunard, it is established beyond all doubt, <laughs> For all other doubt and that which clings to the labors of men, that as a result of the labors left of Testu and Cunard left unfinished, it is established as here and after, but not so fast, for reasons unknown. That as a result of the public works of Puncher and Watman left unfinished, it is established that in view of the labors of Fartov and Belcher left unfinished, for reasons unknown of Testu and Cunard left unfinished, it is established. What many deny that man in posse of Testu and Cunard, that man in the I see that man in brief, in short, in spite of the strides of alimentation and defecation, wastes and pines, wastes and pines, and concurrently, simultaneously, what is more, despite the strides of physical culture, the practice of sports such as tennis, football, running, cycling, swimming, flying, floating, riding, gliding, canating, komogi, skating, tennis of all kinds, dying, Flying sports of all sorts, autumn, summer, winter, winter tennis of all kinds, hockey of all sorts, penicillin and succadania. In a word, I resume flying, floating, golf over nine and 18 holes, tennis of all sorts, in a word, for reasons unknown, in feckum, peckum, fulham, clapham, namely. Concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown, but time will tell, fades away, I resume, fulham, clapham. The dead loss per head since the death of Bishop Barclay being to the tune of one inch four ounce per head, approximately, by and large, more or less, to the nearest decimal, good measure, round figures, stark naked, in stockinged feet in Connemara, in a word for reasons unknown, no matter. What matter? The facts are there, and considering what is more, much more grave that in the light of the labor's loss of Steinberg and Peterman, it appears what is more, much more grave that in the light the light, the light of the neighbors lost of Steinweg and Peterman in the, in the plains, in the mountains, by the seas, by the rivers, running water, running fire, the air is the same. And then the earth, namely the air, and then the earth in the great deeps, the great cold. Alas, alas, in the year of their Lord 600 and something, the earth, the earth abode of stones in the great deeps, the great cold. On sea, on land and in the air, I resume, for reasons unknown, in spite of the tennis, the facts are there, but time will tell, I resume, and that's the last. On, on, in short, in fine, on, on, a boat of stones, who can doubt it, I resume, but not so fast, I resume the skull, fading, 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 and concurrently, simultaneously, what is more, for reasons unknown, in spite of the tennis, the facts are there, on, on, the beard, the flames, the tears, the stones. So blue, so calm, and that's the last. On, on, the skull, the skull, the skull in Connemara, in spite of the tenants, the skull. The flames, the tears, the stones, so blue, so calm, and that's the last, the skull, the skull in Connemara, in spite of the tenants, the skull, the stones, Cunard, tennis, the stones, so blue, so calm. Alas, unfinished the stones, so calm. His hand! The stones, so calm. His hand! Finished the stones, so calm. Unfinished. Unfinished. 
avenged. Give me that. There's an end to his thinking. Will he be able to walk? Walk or crawl? Up, pig. Perhaps he's dead. You'll, you'll kill him. Up, scum. Help me. How? Raise him up. Uh, he's doing it on purpose. You must hold him. Come on. Come on. Raise him up. To hell with him. <laughs> Don't let him go. Don't move. Hold him tight. Don't let him go. Uh. Hold him tight. Now, you can let him go. Forward, back, turn. <laughs> Done it. He can walk. <gasps> Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Let me wish, let me wish you Adieu. 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 And thank you. Yes, sis. Yes. Thank you. Not at all. Uh, no, no. Yes, yes. I don't seem to be able to depart. <laughs> Such is life. On! You're going the wrong way. Back! Turn! Forward! Faster! Pig! Adieu! Adieu! Pig! Adieu! That passed the time. It would have passed in any case. Yes, but not so rapidly. What do we do now? I don't know. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for God. Ah. Approach, my child. Mr. Albert. Yes. What do you want? Approach. Approach when you're told, can't you? What is it? Mr. Godos. Obviously, approach. Will you approach? What kept you so late? You have a message from Mr. Godot? Yes, sir. Well, what is it? What kept you so late? It's let him alone. You let me alone. Do you know what time it is? It's not my fault, sir. Then whose is it? Mine? I was afraid, sir. Afraid of what? Us? 
Unto me. I think I know what it is. He was afraid of the others. How long have you been there? A good while, sir. You were afraid of the whip. Yes, sir. Of the roars. Yes, sir. The two big men. Yes, sir. Do you know them? No, sir. Are you a native of these parts? Do you belong to these parts? Yes, sir. That's a pack of lies. Will you tell the truth? It is the truth, sir. Will you let him alone? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? I'm unhappy. Since when? I don't know. Uh, extraordinary the tricks that memory plays. Well? Mr. Goddard? I have seen you before, haven't I? No, sir. You don't know me? No, sir. It was not you came yesterday? No, sir. This is your first time? Yes, sir. Words. What? Mr. Speak. Godot told me to tell you that he won't come today, but surely tomorrow. Is that all? Yes, sir. You work for Mr. Godot? Yes, sir. What do you do? I mind the goats, sir. Is he good to you? Yes, sir. He doesn't beat you? No, sir, not me. Whom does he beat? He beats my brother, sir. Ah, you have a brother. Yes, sir. And what does he do? He minds the sheep, sir. And why doesn't he beat you? I don't know, sir. He must be very fond of you. I don't know, sir. Does he feed you well? Um, does he give you enough to eat? Fairly well, sir. And you're not unhappy? Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Well? I don't know, sir. You don't know if you are not happy or... No, sir. <laughs> you're just as bad as myself. Where do you sleep? In the loft, sir. With your brother? Yes, sir. In the hay? Yes, sir. All right. You may go. What, what am I to tell Mr. Godot, sir? Um, tell him that, that you saw us. You did see us, didn't you? Yes, sir. At last. Pearl. For weariness. Well, what are you doing? Of climbing heaven and gazing on the likes of us. No, your boots. What are you doing with your boots? Leaving them there. Another will come, just as... Just as me, but with, with smaller feet. But you can't go barefoot. Christ did. Christ? What does Christ have to do with it? You can't go on comparing yourself to Christ. All my life I've compared myself to him. But where he lived, it was warm, it was dry. Yes, and they crucified quick. Uh, oh, there's nothing more to do here. No, anywhere else? Nah, no. Go, go. You can't go on like that. Tomorrow, everything will be better. How do you make that out? Did you not hear what the child said? No. He said, Godot is sure to come tomorrow. What do you say to that? It's not worthwhile now. No. It's not worthwhile now. Well, shall we go?
there you are again. I'm going. You are again. <laughs> I'm going. There you are again. I'm going. kitchen and stole a crust of bread and cook up with a little beat him till he was dead then all the dogs came running and I got a, I got to then all the dogs came running. Ah, 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 and I got oh, oh, a The dog came in the kitchen and stole a crust of bread. Then cook up with a ladle, beat him till he was dead. For all the dogs to go. La, 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 la. Dog a dog too, and dog a dog, and and dog, and dog a dog a tomb, tomb. Dog a dog a tomb, huh? Huh?
You again. <laughs> Come here till I embrace you. Don't touch me. You want me to go away? Go, go. Did they beat you? Go, go. Where did you spend the night? Go, go. Don't touch me. Don't question me. Don't speak to me. Stay with me. Did I ever leave you? You let me go. Look at me. Will you look at me? What a day. Who beat you, tell me? Another day done with? Not yet. Well, for me, it's over and done with, no matter what. I heard you singing. Oh, that's right. Uh, I remember. It finished me. I said to myself, he's all alone and thinks I'm gone forever, and, and he sings. One is not master of one's mood. All day, I felt in great form. I didn't wake up in the night, not even once. You see, you piss better when I'm not there. I missed you. And at the same time, I was happy. Happy? Isn't that a queer thing? And now? And now, there you are again. There we are again. There I am again. You see, you feel worse when I'm with you. I feel better alone too. Then why do you always come crawling back? I don't know. No, but I do. It's because you don't know how to defend yourself. I wouldn't have let them beat you. You couldn't have stopped them. Why not? It was 10 of them. No, before that. I mean, I would have stopped you from doing whatever it was you were doing. I wasn't doing anything. Then why did they beat you? I don't know. Ah, uh, no, go, go. The truth is there are some things that escape you that don't escape me and you must feed it too. I tell you, I wasn't doing anything. Okay, perhaps you weren't, but it's the way of doing it that counts. The way of doing it if you want to go on living. I wasn't doing anything. And you are happy too, deep down. If only you knew it. Happy about what? to be back with me again. Would you say so? Say you are, even if it's not true. What am I to say? Say, I am happy. I am happy. So am I. So am I. We are happy. We are happy. What are we to do now? Now that we are happy? Wait for Godo. Things have changed here since yesterday. And if he doesn't come? We'll see when the time comes. I was saying, things have changed here yeah, since yesterday. Everything oozes. Look at the tree. It's never the same pass from one second to the next. The tree, look at the tree. Was it not there yesterday? Yes, of course, it was there yesterday. Do you not remember? We nearly hanged ourselves from it, but you would not. Do you not remember? You dreamt it. Is it possible you've forgotten already? Well, that's how I am. Either I forget immediately or I never forget. And Porto and Lucky, have you forgotten them too? Porto? Lucky? He's forgotten everything. Yeah. 
I remember a, a lunatic who kicked the shins off me and played the fool. Yes, that was... <laughs> that was lucky. I remember that. But when was that? And his keeper, do you remember him? <laughs> he gave me a bone. That was Pozo. And that was yesterday, you say? Yes, of course, it was yesterday. Yeah, where we are now. Where else could it be? Do you not recognize, recognize? the place? Recognize? What is there to recognize? All my lousy life I've crawled in the mud and you speak to me of scenery. Calm yourself. Just look at this muck heap. I've never crawled from it. Calm yourself. You're a hard man to get on with, Gogo. It would be better if we parted. You always say that, and you always come crawling back. The best thing would be to kill me like the other. What other? What other? Like the billions of others. To every man, his little cross. Till he dies and is forgotten. In the meantime, let us try and converse calmly, since we're incapable of keeping quiet. You're right. We are inexhaustible. It's so we won't think. We have that excuse. It's so we won't hear. We have our reasons. All the dead voices. They make a noise like wings. Like leaves. Like sand. Like leaves. And they all speak at once. Each one to itself. Rather they whisper. They rustle. They murmur. They rustle. What do they say? They talk about their lives. To have lived is not enough for them. They have to talk about it. To be dead is not enough for them. It is not sufficient. They make a noise like feathers. Like leaves. Like ashes. Like leaves. I'm tired. Say something. I'm trying. Say anything at all. What do we do now? Wait for Godot. Huh. Huh. Well, what was I saying? We could go on from there. What were you saying when? At the very beginning. At the very beginning of what? Of this evening. I was saying, I was saying. I'm not a historian. Wait, wait. We embraced. We were happy. Yes, happy. What do we do now that we are happy? Go on, waiting, waiting. Let me think, it's coming. And uh, now that we are happy, go on waiting, let me see. 
Ah, the tree. Tree. Do you not remember? I'm tired. Look at it. I see nothing. But yesterday it was all black and bare, and now it's covered with leaves. Leaves. In a single night. It must be the spring. But in a single night. I tell you, we weren't here yesterday. And well, another one of your nightmares. Where were we yesterday evening? How should I'm I know? To you. How should I know? In another compartment, there's no lack of void. Good. We were not here yesterday evening. Now, what did we do yesterday evening? Do. Try and remember. Do. I suppose we blathered. About what? Uh, this or that. I, nothing in particular. Yes. Yes, now I remember. Yesterday evening, <coughs> we... We blathered about nothing in particular. It's been happening that way for half a century now. And you don't remember any fact oh. or circumstance? Did he don't torment The me. sun, the moon, do you not remember it them? It must have been there as per usual. And you didn't recognize anything out of the ordinary? Alas. Pozzo and Lucky? Pozzo? The bones. They were like fish bones. It was Porto gave them to you. I don't know. The kick. Someone gave me a kick. It was Lucky gave it to you. And that was yesterday, you say? Show me your leg. Which? Both. Pull up your trousers. Pull up your trousers. I can't. The other. The other. Pig. Uh, there's the wound beginning to fester. And what of it? Where are your boots? Uh, I, I must have thrown them away. When? I don't know. Why? I don't know why, I don't know. No, no, why did you throw them away? Because they were hurting me. Ah, there they are, at the very spot where you left them yesterday. <laughs> They're not mine. Not yours? Mine are black, those are brown. You sure yours were black? Well, they were kind of a, a gray. And these are brown? Well. They're a, a kind of a green. Well, sure. Of all the... Hey. You see? You see? I see. That's what all is. a lot I of... I see what That's happened. all a lot It's of, elementary. Someone took your boots and left you his. Why? Because his were too tight for him, so he took yours. But mine were too tight. For you, not for him. I'm tired. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting. For God. If only I could sleep. Yesterday, you, you slept. Uh. 
I'll try. Wait. Ugh. Uh. Bye, 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 bye. Not so loud. Bye, bye. 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 Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. It is there, don't be afraid. Uh, 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 I was falling. Don't, 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 be, don't be afraid. I was on top of her. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Come. We'll walk it off. his head <sighs> oh. I've been here an hour and never saw it fine farewell I knew we were at the right place now our troubles are over it must have been a very fine hat you will never see me again. Here. What? Hold that. Mm. How does it fit me? How should I know? Yes, but how do I look? 
in it. Hideous. Yeah, but not more so than usual. Neither more or less. Then I can keep it. Mine irked me. I mean, how shall I say it itched me? I'm going. Will you not play? Play at what? We could play at uh, Pozzo and uh, Lucky. Never heard of it. I'll do Lucky, you do Pozzo. Go on. What am I to do? Curse me. Naughty. Stronger. Conoco Casperecette. Tell me to think. What? Say, think, pig. Think, pig. <sighs> I can't. That's enough of that. Uh, tell me to dance. I'm going. Say, dance, hog. <laughs> I can't. Go, go. Oh, there you are again. I'm accursed. Where were you? I thought you were gone forever. They're coming. Who? I don't know. How many? I don't know. Uh, it's go, no, go, go. At last, we're safe. Uh, let's go and meet him. Go, go, come back. Oh, there you are again. I'm again. in hell. Where were you? They're coming there too. Oh, we are surrounded, imbecile. There's no way out there. There. Not a soul in sight. Off you go. Quick. What you want? Well, I can understand that. Okay, wait till I see. I, your only hope left is uh, to disappear. Where? Um, behind the tree. Quick! Behind the tree. Decidedly, this tree will not have the slightest use to us. Uh, forgive me, I lost my head. It won't happen again. Tell me what to do. There's nothing to do. You, you stand over there. There, no, no, don't move. Now watch out. Back to back, like the good old days. <laughs> Do you see anything coming? What? Do you see anything coming? No. No, I. You must have had a vision. What? Must have had a vision. No need to shout. Do you? Do you? Oh, oh, pardon. After you. No, no, you, after you. You first. No, I interrupted you. On the contrary. Ceremonious ape. Pantilius pig. Finish your phrase, I tell you. Finish your own. Moron. That's the idea. Let's, let's abuse each other. Uh, Mom. 
moron. Vermin, abortion. Morpin, sewer it. Curate, critic. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, now, uh, let's make it up. Google. Dee Dee. Your hand. Take it. Come to my arms. Arms? My breast. <laughs> Off we go again. How <laughs> <laughs> uh, time flies when one has fun. <laughs> Go, go. Ah! Ah! Oh, who is it? Oh, what is it? Is it Godot? At last. Reinforcements at last. Help. Is it Godot? We were beginning to weaken. Now we are no longer alone. Help. Do you hear him? We are no longer alone, waiting for the night, waiting for God, oh, yes. waiting for waiting. All evening we have suffered unassisted, and now it's all over. It's already tomorrow. Oh. Time flows again already. The sun will set, the moon will rise, and we are away from here. Pity? Clapoto? I knew it was him. Who? Godo. But it's not Godo. It's not Godo. It's not Godo. Who is it? It's Porto. Here. Here. Help me up. He can't get up. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We are waiting for Godo. Ah. Uh, Help. What will we do? Perhaps he has another bone for you. Who? Potter. Chicken, do you not remember? A bone? Yes, chicken, do you not remember? Is that him? Yes! Ask him. Uh, perhaps we should help him first. What does he want? He wants to get up. He can't get up? He wants to get up. Then let him get up. He can't. Why? I don't know. We should ask him to give us the bone first, and if he refuses, we'll leave him there. You mean, if we have him at our mercy? Yes. That we subordinate our good offices and, uh, to certain conditions? Uh, what? That's an intelligent idea, all right? Oh. But there's one thing I'm afraid of. What? that Lucky might get going all of a sudden and we'd be balloxed. Lucky? Yes, the one that went for you yesterday. I tell you that there was 10 of them. Uh, before that, the one that, that kicked you. Is he there? As large as life. Well, for the moment, he's in that. But he might run a market any minute. Oh. Suppose we gave him a good beating. Just the two of us. You mean if we, if we fell on him in his sleep? Yes. That seems a good idea, all right. Ah, but could we do it? Is he really asleep? No. The best would be to take advantage of Paz's calling for help. Help him. Us help in him. In anticipation of some tangible return. Uh, and suppose Let we... us not waste time in idle discourse. Let us do something while we have the chance. It's not every day that we are needed. Not indeed that we personally are needed. I mean, to all mankind they were addressed to those cries for help still ringing in our ears. But at this place, at this moment of time, all mankind is asked whether we like it or not. Let us uh, do the most of it before it's too late. Let us represent worthily the foul brood to which all a cruel fate consigned us. What do you say? 
It is true that with folded arms we weigh the pros and cons. We are no less a credit to our species. I mean, the tiger bounds to the help of his congeners without the least reflection, or else he slinks away into the depth of the thickets. But that is not the question. What we are doing here, that is the question. Oh. And we are blessed in this that we happen to know the answer. Yes, in this immense confusion, one thing alone is clear. We are waiting for Godo to come oh. or for the night to oh. fall. <sighs> we have kept our appointment and that's an end to that. We are no saints, but we have kept our appointment. And how many people can boast as much? Billions. You think? I don't know. You might be right. Help. I'll pay you. How much? 100 francs. That's not enough. I wouldn't go so far as that. You think that's no, enough? No, I, I mean as far as to say that I was weak in the head when I came into the world, but that is not the question. 200? <gasps> Two, two, two hundred. What do we do now? Perhaps I could call to him. Yes, call to him. Pozzo! Pozzo! No reply. Together? Pozzo! Pozzo! He moved. Are you sure his name is Porto? Come back, Mr. Porto. We won't hurt you. We could try him by other names. I'm afraid he's dying. It would be amusing. What would be amusing? To try him by other names. One after the other. We're bound to hit the right one sooner or later. I tell you his name is Porto. We'll soon see. Got it in one. I begin to weary of this motif. Perhaps the others called Cain. Oh. Cain! Cain! Oh. He's all humanity. Just look at the little cows. Where? There, in the zenith. And what's so wonderful about it? Let's pass on now to something new. Yeah. Do you mind? I was just going to suggest it. Uh, but to what? Ah. Suppose we got up to begin with. No, I'm trying. <coughs> Child's play. Simple question of willpower. Help? Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Godo. Ah. Uh, what will we do? What will we do? Help. What about helping him? What does he want? He wants to get up. Then why doesn't he get up? He wants us to help him to get up. <laughs> then why don't we? What are we waiting for?
better? <laughs> Who are you? You don't recognize us? I... am blind. Perhaps he can see into the future. Since when? I used to have wonderful sight. But... Are you friends? <laughs> he wants to know if we're friends. No, he means friends of his. Well? We've proved we are by helping him. Exactly. Would we have helped him if we weren't his friends? Possibly. True. Let's not quibble about this now. You are not highwaymen. Highwaymen? Do we look like highwaymen? Damn it, can't you see the man is blind? Damn it, so he is. So he says. Don't leave me. No question of it. For the moment. What time is it? Oh, uh, well, it's uh, uh, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. It depends what time of year it is. Is it evening? It's rising. Impossible. Perhaps it's the dawn. It's the west over there, don't be a fool. How do you know? Is it evening? Anyway, it hasn't moved. I tell you, it's rising. <sighs> Why do you not answer me? Give us a chance. It's evening, sir, it's evening. Night is drawing nigh. My friend here would have me doubted, and I must confess he shook me for a moment, but it's not for nothing. I have lived through this long day, and I can assure you it's very near the end of its repertory. How are you feeling now? How much long are we to cart him around? We're not karyotids. You were saying your sight used to be very good, if I heard you right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful sight. Expand. Expand. Let him alone. Can't you see his thinking of the days when he was happy? Memoria praeteritorum bonorum. That must be unpleasant. We wouldn't know. And it came on you all of a sudden. Quite. Uh, I'm asking if it came on you all of a sudden. I woke up one fine day as blind as fortune. Sometimes I wonder if I'm not still asleep. Uh, and when was this? I don't know. But no later than yesterday. Don't question me. The blind have no notion of time. The things of time are hidden from them too. Oh, just fancy that. I could have sworn it was just the opposite. I'm going. Where are we? Well, I couldn't tell you. It isn't by any chance a place known as the board. I've never heard of it. What's it like? It's... Uh... It's indescribable. It's like nothing. There's nothing. It's, oh, there's a tree. Then it's not the board. Uh, Some diversion. Where is my menial? He's about somewhere. Well, why doesn't he call, answer when I call? I don't know. He seems to be sleeping or, or perhaps he's dead. Well, what happened exactly? Exactly. The two of you slipped and fell. Go and see. Is he hurt? We can't, we can't leave you. You needn't both go. You go. Me? Yeah. After what he did to me? Never. Yeah. Yes. Yes, tell your friend to go. He stinks so. <clears throat> What's he waiting for? What you waiting for? I'm waiting for God. What exactly should he do? Well, to begin with, he should pull on the rope as hard as he likes. Uh? So long as he doesn't strangle him, uh. he usually responds to that. Uh. If not, 
He should give him a taste of his boot in the face and in the private parts as far as possible. Ah, uh, you see, you have nothing to be afraid of. It's even an opportunity for you to defend yourself. And if he defends himself? No, no. He never defends himself. I'll come in jumping to the rescue. Don't take your eye off me. Make sure he's alive before you start. No use exerting yourself if he's dead. He's breathing. Then let him have it. My friend has hurt himself. Uh, and Lucky? Uh, so it is he. Uh, what? It's Lucky. Uh, I don't understand. And you are Potso. Uh, certainly. The same as yesterday. I am the same as yesterday. Uh, yesterday? Yes. Ye yesterday we met. Do you not remember? Uh, I don't remember having met anyone yesterday. But. Tomorrow, I won't have remembered meeting anyone today. So, don't count on me to enlighten you. But enough. Up, pig. You were bringing him to the fair to sell him. You spoke to us. He danced. He thought, and, and you had your sight. As you please. Let me go. Up. And where do you go from here? On. 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 Whip. Rope. What's there in the bag? Sand. On. Don't, don't go yet. I'm going. What do you do when you fall far from help? We wait. Till we can get up. Then... We go on. On. Tell him to sing! Who? Lucky. To sing? Yes, or to think or recite. But he is dumb. Dumb? Dumb. He can't even groan. Dumb since when? Have you not? Done? Tormenting me with your accursed time? It's abominable. When? When? One day. Is that not enough for you? One day, he went dumb. One day, I went blind. One day we will go deaf. One day we were born. One day we shall die. The same day, the same second. Is that not enough for you? 
They give birth astride of a grave. The light gleams an instant. Then, it is night once more. On. Why will you never let me sleep? I felt lonely. That passed the time. I was dreaming I was happy. Don't tell me. I was dreaming, I... I wonder, is he really blind? Blind? Who? Poto. Blind? He told us he was blind. You dreamt it. It seemed to me. Uh, let's go. He saw us. Uh, we can't. Uh. Are you sure it was him? Who? Goro. But who? Pozo. Not at all. Not at all. I might as well get up. I don't know what to think anymore. Pozo. Godo. Didi. Help me. What are you sleeping? My feet. While the others suffered. Am I sleeping now? Tomorrow when I wake or oh, think I do, what shall I say of today? That with my friend, Estragon at this place till the fall of night we waited for Godo that Pozzo passed with his carrier and he spoke to us probably. But in all that, what truth will there be? Yeah, he'll know nothing. He'll tell me about the blows he received and I'll give him a carrot. A stride of a grave and a difficult birth. Down in the hole lingeringly, the grave digger puts on the forceps. We have time to grow old. The air is full of our cries. But habit is a great Edna. At me too, someone is looking. Of me too, someone is saying, he's sleeping. He knows nothing. Let him sleep on. I can't go on. What have I said? Mr. Mr. Albert. Off we go again. You don't recognize me? No, sir. It wasn't you who came yesterday? No, sir. This is your first time? Yes, sir. You have a message from Mr. Godot? Yes, sir. 
He won't come this evening. No, sir. But he's sure to come tomorrow. Yes, sir. Without fail. Yes, sir. Did you meet anyone? No, sir. Two other men? I saw no one, sir. What does he do, Mr. Godo? Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Well? He does nothing, sir. How's your brother? He's sick, sir. Perhaps it was he came yesterday. I don't know, sir. Has he a beard, Mr. Godot? Yes, sir. Fair or, or black? I think it's white, sir. Christ, have mercy upon us. What am I to tell Mr. Godot, sir? Tell him that! That! That you saw me! You sure you saw me? You won't come tomorrow and tell me that you never saw me? No, sir. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Was I long asleep? I don't know. I'm going. So am I. Where should we go? Not far. Yes, let's go far away from here. We can't. Why not? We have to come back tomorrow. What for? To wait for Godo. Ah. He didn't come. No. And now it's too late? Now it's night. Oh. And if we dropped him? If we dropped him? He'd punish us. Everything is dead, but the tree. What is it? It's the tree. Yes, but what kind? I don't know, a willow. Why don't we hang ourselves from it? With what? You, you don't have a bit of rope? No. We can't. Let's go. 
Wait, wait, there, there's my belt. It's too short. You, you could hang from my legs. And who'd hang onto mine? True. We'll show all the same. It might do at a pinch, but is it strong enough? We'll soon see. Here. It's not worth a kiss. You, you say we have to come back here tomorrow? Yes. Then we'll bring a good bit of rope. I can't go on like this. That's what you think. And if we parted, it, it, it might be better for us. We'll hang ourselves tomorrow. Unless Godot comes. And if he comes? We'll, we'll be saved. Well, shall we go? Pull on your trousers. What? Pull on your trousers. Pull off my trousers. Pull on your trousers. True. Well, shall we go? Let's go.